can. They say it's the thought that counts, but sometimes a gift just isn't for you. It's why experts predict millions will be returning their Christmas and other holiday gifts this week. WJZ is in your corner in Lutherville. Dennis Valera has been talking to people about their returns. Hey Vic, I met some people on both sides of the spectrum. Some prepared to get their refund back, others having a not so smooth experience. A survey by USHIP found around 40% of people plan to return at least one gift this holiday season. It comes as more retailers are charging fees to make returns. Bria Turner came to Kohl's after some gifts for her daughter, Sienna, just didn't work. The drum set was just very cheaply made, and then <laughs> the car that I bought her the next day was broken. Since they were bought on Amazon, Turner is able to return the toys at Kohl's, something she loves being able to do. It's really easy. Like, you can go straight back and return the item. They just scan it, and then they give you a 20% off coupon, which is nice too. And then you get your money back really fast, like probably in like an hour or two. But sometimes you hit a roadblock. I was like, Standing in line waiting at the register to take it back, and then they said go over to the return on the customers. Rick Vincent is just trying to return a pair of pants for a family member. So now I'm going to the post office because they opened it up and said it says post office, and I'm like, they said Kohl's first, then they said Amazon, and then they said post office. So I'm like, I don't know where it's going. At the mall in Columbia, the holiday return crowd can be just as busy as the holiday shopping crowd. You're not searching around the mall for that perfect gift, all stressed out. Now you're just coming here to take care of yourself. Returning a gift to a physical brick and mortar location is one way to avoid fees. Narvar, a retail technology company, says around 40% of retailers are charging return fees this year for mail in returns. That's up from 31% last year. Another thing to keep in mind how long your return window is. Some retailers allow until the end of January. Others can be shorter or even months longer. Best thing to do is act fast to make sure you get the most out of your refund. Of course, the most helpful thing you can do for yourself is keep your hands on your receipts. Now, we did compile the return policies for most major retailers up on our website, WJZ.com, including Amazon's. Reporting live in Lutherville, I'm Dennis Blair for WJZ. Okay, good advice, Dennis. Thank you very much.